Hello, and welcome back to another edition of Carrie's Gardening Channel. Today is February the 1st, and we're going to be planting sage seeds today. Now, sage is an herb, and it's a very aromatic herb, which means it has um, a, 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 a fragrance to it. Sorry about that. And this is what... Here sage seeds look like. Now I'm going to be planting more than one in my container here today because one thing my seeds are old and um, I happen to actually find a pack of them and I put them in the freezer for about a week in a Ziploc bag and I'm going to sell them now. So I had some come up last year for me so I'm hoping that we'll get more of them coming up this year. Now, sage is a perennial, and I'm in Pennsylvania, which that's where I'm at. It's zone 6. Uh, we used to be zone 5, and we do hit zone 4 temperatures, and then someone rezoned us to zone 6. But we still hit zone 4 temperatures. So, it is definitely a perennial for my area. Uh, now, sage needs 60 to 70 degrees to germinate. And it can take up to 21 days for sage seeds to germinate. So uh, I already have my four pack here filled in with seed starting mix. I had some left over from another project. I will be leaving a link below for how I mix my seed starting mix. And we're just going to start planting our seeds here. I'm doing about four. And I'll prick out the extra seedlings when they come up. I'll put a link below for a video I did on that as well. On how to prick out your extra seedlings that come up. So you can transplant them to another container. And I'm just going to plant these last four seeds in here as well. Because if as long as I leave enough room between them, if more than one comes up, I'll be able to get them out. So there we go. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to just firm them into the soil. And I do recommend you pre-chill your seeds before you sow them, especially on like a perennial. And I pre-chill my stuff either in the refrigerator or in the freezer. Um, most of my seeds are kept in the refrigerator with just a few being kept in the freezer in Ziploc bags. And I just find that it keeps the seeds viable for germinating a lot longer and I get better germination results from it. Uh, the only seeds that I don't really put in some kind of chilling thing is like nasturtium seeds because they don't seem to like that from what I've read. I've never tried it, but okay. So I have my seeds here all firmed in to the soil and I'm just going to give them a light misting with my water bottle here to make sure that they, the seed does get wet and you want your seeds to have really good contact with the soil that will help them to come up and I'm just going to lightly cover them. So I'm just taking some of my Jiffy Organic Seed Starting Mix and I'm just going over and I'm gently covering them up. go and I'm going to firm that over the top I'm sure it has real nice contact there okay. make sure no seeds stick to your fingers 
That does happen sometimes, unfortunately. <laughs> and I'm just going to go back over and I'm going to spray this down with water to make sure we get that top coating wet. And I'm just going to be putting this under our lights. I'm not going to be putting it in any of our grow boxes or anything like that because it only needs 60 to 70 degrees. So it should germinate just fine under the regular lights. And I'm going to get a label for these and I'll be right back. Okay, so we're back and I put my four pack under one of my fluorescent lights. I use sunshine or day length bulbs. Both of them work. And um, this is on a 14 hour timer and then it'll shut itself off. And they should start in 21 days. They should start coming up for us or possibly sooner. Um, I do recommend that you check on your seedlings before um, you know their time period to come up because they can come up sooner than that. And sage is actually one of those plants that really does not like to have soggy soil. So you want to make sure that you have it in a well-drained container or like when you plant it outside that you have it in a very well-drained area. Uh, it will tolerate poor dry soils. So one thing we want to make sure is that we don't have our seed starting mix like really soggy or anything like that because that really won't work for us with the sage. So um, when these start coming up I will come back with another video and I will show you what the sage seedlings look like and I'll also tell you then how to start feeding them and when to start feeding them 